The establishment of the State of Israel in 1948 was achieved through the ruthless and well-planned ethnic cleansing of 750,000 Palestinians. And this colonial logic of conquest, destruction, and expulsion has continued to the present day. Today, about a third of the Palestinian people live under a brutal military occupation in the West Bank, including East Jerusalem and Gaza. Israel has stolen land, built Jewish-only settlements, expelled Palestinians and cornered others into ghettos, surrounded by walls, military watchtowers and checkpoints. 12% of the Palestinian people live inside Israel as third-class citizens. They are subjected to a system of racial discrimination and racist laws that amounts to apartheid, as defined by the United Nations. Half of the Palestinian people continue to live outside Palestine as refugees, denied their right to return to their homes. In 2014, Israel carried out one of its bloodiest ever massacres of Palestinians in the besieged Gaza Strip. More than 2,000 people were killed, a quarter of them children. Israel is only able to maintain its regime of oppression because of the support of international governments and corporations. When those in power refuse to act to stop this injustice, we need a global citizen's response to stand alongside Palestinians in their struggle for freedom, justice, and equality. In 2005, Palestinian civil society came together to issue its call for boycott, divestment, and sanctions. The appeal calls for concerted nonviolent action to isolate Israel, as was done to apartheid South Africa. We are calling for boycott pressure on Israel until it complies with international law in the following ways. End its occupation and colonization of land seized in 1967. Recognize the right of the Palestinian citizens of Israel to full equality. Respect the right of Palestinian refugees to return to their homes. The BDS movement has empowered people across the world to take effective action against Israel. Trade unions, student groups, churches, academics, cultural figures, and social movements are joining together to make an impact. Already, because of BDS, Israeli export companies are complaining that it is getting harder to export their products, and grassroots action has prevented Israeli ships from docking at ports around the world. Major Israeli exporter SodaStream, targeted by our campaign, has announced plans to close a factory it operates in an illegal Israeli settlement. G4S and Veolia, two huge corporations that help Israel maintain its occupation, have lost billions of dollars worth of contracts as a result of BDS activism. Both companies are now talking about ending their role in Israel's crimes. Some European governments are now taking action against aspects of Israel's occupation, and several U.S. academic associations have endorsed a comprehensive academic boycott of Israeli universities. And many prominent musicians and artists support the cultural boycott of Israel, refusing to perform there. Israeli business leaders and politicians are warning that the boycott is starting to isolate Israel. In fact, the government is so worried about the strategic threat that BDS poses to their regime of oppression that it's using its enormous resources to undermine the movement. There's a real fear within Israel that it is fast becoming the pariah state that South Africa once was. Get involved in the BDS movement today. Join or set up a campaign in your local area pressurize governments and companies to end their support for Israel's regime of injustice. With BDS, we can all make a real contribution to end international complicity in Israel's crimes against the Palestinian people. Thanks for watching.